you know, it's it's an interesting space. Um, social media, when we think about it, we think, you know, the big ones, the Instagram, Facebook, now TikTok, Twitter. Um, and, and really the, the difference is that, you know, we use the different mediums for different parts of our business. So, so really the key for how we bring platforms and products and services to market, whether it's B2B or B2C, is through what we call relationship capital. And social media is one of the greatest places to build relationship capital. But the key is to define what an ideal relationship looks like. Who can create the most acceleration for you with your early stage idea? Who can create the most acceleration for you once you've already proven product market fit? So a lot of our B2B clients, we work in the social arena, more on in the sort of Twitter and LinkedIn space, to be honest. Um, increasingly, we're seeing some of our B2B clients um, getting in front of the consumers on Facebook and Instagram, but it's still fairly traditional in the B2B space. Our B2B, most of where we spend our time and where a lot of our audience is, is actually inside of Facebook groups. TikTok has been growing quite a bit. Um, and then our clients leverage a lot of their communities on Instagram, Facebook connections, um, to build out and sell their their services to their B2C. So what we do with our co-founders is we build what we call a Power 100, which are the 100 relationships that they can extract from all of their social media platforms, and they're categorized into three ways. Those you know, those that are one degree away, so there's somebody that you know that knows somebody else, and then those that you don't know, or what we call the many degreeers. And it's your responsibility to find a way to get the many degreeers to become people that you know and to get the one degreeers from the people that you know. Um, direct to consumer space, you know, that that's where things get a lot more fun in the social arena, and that's because you know, we get to do a lot more with not only paid um, advertising, which we're doing with both our um, B2B and B2C, but we also get to work a lot more with influencers. And what that has allowed us to do, it's allowed us to create much more authentic content using people, real people, your next door neighbor, the person down the block, talking about your brand, talking about your products, sharing their experiences in a way that we relate to, in a way that doesn't feel sort of like an imposition. It's actually somebody opening up their like sort of secret to you. Uh, but I'd say the, the growing side of TikTok has definitely changed a lot of social media, just kind of for B2B and B2C. Leveraging social media as a mechanism to get in touch with more relevant people to create acceleration for you is the single greatest path to accelerate your early stage idea or even your mature company. And I think that that has sort of um, created an environment that is sort of uh, ripe for new creative ideas and, and sort of new ways of telling our stories that we can't do in a more traditional uh, platform like television where you have you know, a long lead time where you have to create creatives and the messaging and timing and uh, you know, longer lead time for media placements. You know, the, that social space allows you to sort of move really quickly and work with lots of different kinds of talent to kind of get your messaging across in a new way. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.